Welcome to the National Basketball League, or should I say for some, a chess match with shots and dribbles. Because there's a small group of NBA players throughout the years that set themselves apart with their knowledge of the game, who are able to outsmart their opponent at any moment. Today, we honor the geniuses of the league. Let's begin. First up, let's break down Luka Doncic breaking down Moses Brown. 16 now for Karis LeVert. Drive inside on Moses Brown, and he got bumped and still scores. The Dallas star comes off a screen to be left alone with just him and the big man. Luka goes to work with a nice pump fake to get Brown to start biting, and then he fakes a pass behind him and it's over. Moses is completely lost. I think it's the commitment Luka gives to the pass fake. He goes behind Brown's back, then pauses, waiting for his moment. Now, Brown might not be some Rudy Gobert type, but still, to confuse a player to this extent, I mean, come on, the guy's literally turned around out there. That Luka magic really getting cast on whoever's on the court. Speaking of Rudy Gobert, sorry Rudy, but you know we had to bring this up. Paul, looking to get it to Adams instead. No. Come on. Take Gobert bites on the pump fake worse than Brown, and then bites even harder on the fake pass, all by the hand of Chris Paul. One of the highest IQs in basketball of a generation, sending a defensive player of the year to no man's land. Not through superior athleticism or dribbling moves though, just pure basketball trickery. Everyone give Paul a hand for the shot, and give another for Rudy to help him stop spinning. Rudy, it was a fake pass. Look alive, man, look alive. Next, we cut to the beautiful, non-dramatic days of Ben Simmons in Philadelphia. Simmons, he'll bring the ball in. He wow. bounced it off the backside of Farnwell. Back before Simmons passed up a layup in playoff crunch time, as his team collapsed around him, there were moments like this. Ben Simmons thinking three steps ahead of everyone else when it mattered most. Philly was up by four with 15 seconds, and the Clippers were trying to stop any time from going off the clock with the foul game, but then Ben simply throws it off the back of Thornwell and drives in an open lane. Doc Rivers is stunned, with absolutely zero reaction on his face. He probably can't believe his team just let that happen, and how lucky he'd be to get to coach something with that level of IQ. Nobody tell him this. Doc had no idea what was coming. Just like no one in the arena knew what was coming from Andre Miller's quote-unquote timeout call, Call a timeout right here. And Andre Miller does and he fakes the timeout. This one is starting to age like fine wine in the world of IQ plays. Miller starts jogging the ball up the court and is headed directly for the referee, appearing like he's about to call for a timeout. He has so many people thinking it, even the coaching staff on the Blazers start walking out to the court. But then wham, he curves at the last second and brings the game to within four. Are we sure Andre was meant to be a baller and not an actor? With skills like those, he might be able to fool his way right into Hollywood. As fast as Andre split from the ref is as fast as Jokic got this assist. Double figures in 11 of 12. Volleyball out. Barton for three. Yes! We'll have to cover it quickly since it doesn't last long, but look at this perfect connection pass from the Joker. I think that's the beauty of the two-time MVP. He makes it look so simple, so timely. If you're not paying attention, you won't even realize how amazing it is. Jamal Murray lobs it to Jokic, and while mid-air, Touch passes it over to Will Barton for a wide-open three. While Air Joker is flying, you see three defenders start to surround him, with the other two staring right at him. All eyes are on the best passing big man of all time as he drops another dime. All eyes on my guy Trevor Booker as he drops in one of the most unbelievable buzzer beaters of all time. Booker, got it! Are you kidding me? Look how much time the Jazz have for this shot. 0.2 seconds. No one thinking of the ordinary jump shot would have enough time to get it off, but that's where Booker comes in. The high IQ breakdown transfers his form from the normal jumper to behind the back granny. In a blink of an eye, Trevor bops the shot up and down it goes. Look at our boy run afterward too. Is that the Jordan shrug after a three-pointer? Well, not anymore. That's the Trevor shrug after a Booker bop. Somebody make that a thing. While Booker Bop gets trending on Twitter, let's bring in the man that seems to always be trending after one of his games, LeBron James. Unselfish play around the world we go. LeBron James behind the back finds J.R. Smith. This is when James is back on the Cavs and torching everyone in the East. While up by almost 20 against Atlanta, LeBron busts out the IQ moves. He gets past his first defender with a pump fake, 
wraps the ball around his back and then starts to go for a floater, but at the last second rockets it to the man in the corner. The string of moves James can put together to outsmart every defender on the floor is a remarkable sight. We might never see another player that can do it quite as well. All right, you guys know that was the most clickbaity transition you've heard in a while. And you know what? I respect that. Just like I respect Ja Morant for trying to match the King's IQ. Ha! <laughs> How do you like that pump fake transition bait just to bring it right back at you? Leave a comment if you like that commentary IQ. The Wizards, any type of momentum. Morant, oh, wow. oh what a fine for Tim. Anyways, Morant is young and on the move in this league. But in this clip, he seems to completely freeze the Washington Wizards through a fake pass and then a behind-the-back fake pass. By the time he gets the ball to Jaron Jackson Jr., the man is completely open. It never hurts to get a little creative when you have the aptitude. We are on our way back now, back to where we started. It's another Luka Doncic highlight because this young star is a legend in the making. Scores with 16. Leading Dallas, Luka with 12. Ah, flipped it. Eyes in the back. This play against the Portland Trailblazers leaves no further doubt in my mind. You see him take a screen from Powell, all the while sizing up where every player is on the floor. He gets the double team, so flips it back behind his head to the open shooter. Guys, that's basically the Booker Bop. I can't believe it. Became a thing even before the end of this video. Luka Magic gets his team an open look no matter what needs to be done. If he can think it, it'll happen. Just like Doncic, we're also adding CP3 to the two-time members of the High IQ Club. And just like Luka, Paul will do anything to get his team to win, even when that means nitpicking every rule in the book. When the OKC Thunder were down by two with only a second left, Carl Anthony Towns was up to shoot free throws when Chris Paul threw his Hail Mary. He started yelling about Wolves forward Jordan Bell having an untucked jersey on the court. So while Bell was tucking it in as he subbed in, Paul called for a delay of game, and it actually worked. It turns out there is a rule that if a player has to tuck his jersey in while on the court, that that is a delay of game because it is already supposed to be tucked. Cat has to pause his free throws so OKC can take theirs for the foul, and now it's a one-point game. Cat makes one of his, and the Thunder are now down by two. Steven Adams throws another OKC Hail Mary full court to Schroeder for a layup to take it to overtime, and they win. The Thunder came back from a game that should have been over because Chris Paul saw an untucked jersey. Call it cheap if you want, but you gotta be smart and understand the rule book, man. You also should know the rule book, or maybe even just the game. If not, you belong in this next video about the most embarrassing moments in the NBA. Make sure to click on that one and subscribe.